Today I'll show you the TC2 charger and how to set it up with the remote panel. The TC2 charger has two generations. It has a generation not capable of remote uh, parallel operation and one that is capable. If you look at the remote panel, the earlier model has a fault and warning light at the top right. The later model has the fault and warning light and a parallel indicator. If you replace an older charger with a newer charger, you must also replace the remote panel. One other way to tell the difference is the newer version has two wire ports for parallel operation. The older version has just one. Functions in the TC2 chargers which is only available through the remote panel is the equalize function. You must have a remote panel to do an equalize. I will show you the fuses which protect the unit in case of inadvertent reverse polarity. The fuses are located under the cover on the side of the unit. They are automotive type blade fuses and they can be removed and pulled out as with any regular automotive situation. The remote panel connection is in the front of the unit under this lid. The remote plugs into the top port as labeled. The lower port is for the battery temperature sensor. You'll also note that the TC2 charger has one ground wire and three positive wires to manage three separate battery banks. Each of the outputs is capable of supplying the full 40 amps, but the total of the charger is also 40 amps. So if one port is taking 20 amps, the other two ports can take 10 amps each as an example. I'll show you what the display panel looks like during power up of the charger. I'm going to plug it in now. During power up, the charger does tests. In this case we've left the remote port unplugged to show you what it looks like when you have a fault condition. What you'll see is the fault light blinking and above it one of the power level indicator lights is blinking. When those lights are blinking it indicates the fault type, in this case REM for remote. 